everybody, welcome back to A Dose of Fashion with me, Alicia D, day 48 of 100 dresses in 100 days. Today, I chose a polka dotted dress to show you guys. And if you remember the episode about with the shift dresses, I have three of them in my closet. And I showed you just the one video, but I showed you all three looks. And I posted photographs of the other two dresses on Instagram. So if you wanted to see what they look like on an actual person or how I chose to style it, you can swing by my Instagram at Alicia D3 which is what I'm going to be doing today because I have three polka dotted dresses in my closet. So I decided to wear this one for the video. And of course, I'll get up and show you guys a closer look and all the cute little details in it. And I'll show you the other two video two dresses, <laughs> which would be number 49 and number 50 in my 100 dress series. But before I get to that, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of information on the polka dot. So the polka dot was most popular between 1920s and the 1960s. In 1926, Miss America was photographed wearing a polka dotted swimsuit, which of course is a highly sought after like entertainment event that people really do hone in and pay attention to. So that shined a lot of light on the polka dot. Two years later, Walt Disney premiered his now iconic character, Minnie Mouse, who sports the red and white polka dotted skirt with the matching bow. Fast forward to 1940, where Frank Sinatra blue eyes premiered a song called polka dots and moonbeams and the song was described as a woozy boozy kind of song i'm gonna let you take that where you will i love to listen to frank sinatra with a glass of wine i find it very relaxing nobody has had a voice like old blue eyes since but back to the fashion sense at hand so after Frank released that song, it took polka dot mania to the next level, if that could even be possible. And the following spring, the LA Times posted a quote in their magazine that I wanted to read to you guys because I thought that it was pretty cute. It said, you can sign your fashion life away on the polka dotted line and you will never regret it. I am inclined to agree with this because I love polka dots. I think that at this point, it's just a timeless print that everybody can wear. Again, if you are wider at the bottom, I suggest you only wear it up top. Rock the polka dotted shirt, not the bottoms. You don't want to look like a circus tent. Um, I love dots. Like I said, I have three polka dotted dresses and that's not even counting the shirts and the pants that I have in that print. So rock your polka dots. You'll never regret it. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, I'll stand up and show you this dress. This is my purple and black polka dot dress. Now this one has wider polka dots, like bigger ones. They're not teeny tiny like the other two dresses. This dress is a pretty form fitted one. Come up close so you guys can see it has the belted around the waist, exact same print as the dress. And if you can see from way back here, you probably couldn't even tell that was a belt because it flows in seamlessly. Come in a little closer and show you guys the little straps. Thick enough to wear a bra without you having to worry about seeing it. Cute little snug fit up top. And it has this part right here, which I was not a huge fan of at first because I felt like it made me look pudgy, but there's nothing there. It's just material. And it's because of the way they did the gathering in the front. Throw in some pockets. And you know this girl loves her pockets. So, yeah, that's dress number 48. I'll show you dress number 49. It's this one. It is a cream colored chocolate brown polka dotted dress with a satin sash ribbon around the waist. Got a little tool at the bottom for a little added fluff. I wore this dress to a wedding, but when I first purchased it, it was for a birthday celebration. I believe I was turning 23. My friends took me to an amazing steakhouse followed by clubbing. And after the club, you're hungry again. So we swung through McDonald's in the limo. The people at McDonald's got a kick out of that. It was fun. One of the best birthdays ever. Had this whole Sex in the City vibe going and I love my friends for planning such an amazing night for me. So that dress has history and sentimental value. And this is the dress. You'll remember the purple one I wore the other day with the simple silhouette satin finish floor length pageant dress. This one came from the same pageant queen. And as you can see, it kind of has that vintage throwback feel. Also fitted bodice at the top, flares out at the bottom. Just a little tool to give it that extra um black with red polka dots red's my favorite color black is always sleek and sexy with a little bow sash around the waist but the bow is off center to the side which i think is super cute and has a little extra something something so that is dress number 
49 and 50 in the 100 dresses and 100 days series. That is my information for you all about the polka dot. I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do. And as always, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and click subscribe. If you like it, like it. If you don't, that's fine too. And sharing is caring. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to come back tomorrow to continue to take this journey with me.